Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And it was about 10 months ago now that Steve Larson tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, buddy, could you build out some membership site training for his affiliate outrage program? And so I put together five videos, and I know a lot of people have seen them. They've had a lot of views on them. And so I'm finally now, 10 months later, coming back around to fill in really the beginning of the process because those videos were more about the kind of medium level kind of stuff that you can do inside of a membership site in ClickFunnels. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to backfill with really the beginning stuff, how to set up the funnel in the first place, some of the ideas behind why you would do certain things. And then you will also see I have much more higher level training of some of the really, really crazy stuff you can do and build out inside of ClickFunnels. So what we want to do today is just start at the very basics and just go, okay, let's build out a complete little quick funnel that you would then use in order to drive traffic to a membership site. So the first thing we want to do is we want to just create ourselves a, a little landing page. And uh, then the next thing we want to do after a landing page is we want to put in our sales page. After the sales page, we'll put in a thank you page. Then comes the membership access and the membership area. So let me just put a little text in here and we'll say the first one is our landing page. So it can be anything you want, but what we're going to do is we're just going to simply capture an email in exchange for somebody's email or we're going to capture somebody's email in exchange for some sort of a free product. So we got our landing page and then we're going to do a sales page. Close enough. Sales page. Put that in there. Then we'll do a thank you page. Membership access. And then last but not least, a members area where all of the training will be placed. So we'll just drop that in there. So it's very simple, five-step funnel. You could even do it without the thank you page. You could frankly just send them directly from the sales page into the membership access page, but we'll leave it like this for now. So what we want to do is we want to jump out of this and we want to go into our ClickFunnels account and we want to click on add new and we're going to just start building ourselves a brand new funnel. We're going to start with the classic builder. We're going to say we want to collect emails, but actually we're not even going to do that. We're just going to say let's create a custom funnel. Let's give this funnel a name. So we'll call it CF Ninja Hacks Demo Membership Funnel. Okay, let's select a group to put this into. We'll put that into our CF Ninja Hacks group. And so now we will build out our funnel. And we'll see what it comes up with. It should just come up with one page and then we'll build everything from there. Good. So we got our first page and it's showing um, it is going to uh, populate as an opt-in page. And that's exactly what we want it to be. So we'll let it uh, render and load up here real quick. And so for most of my template types, I create a template that is a blank and we are an opt-in here and we'll stay there. And I'm just going to grab a hold of this blank template. And the first thing we want to do is we want to come in and click on this gear because we want to set up clean paths on this. And we don't want to call this opt-in. We want to put something in there that's going to mean something to somebody as they look at that path in the address bar. So we're going to say we want this to be a free course. And then what we want to do next is we want to come down and we want to delete out the path. And we want to click on update the page. Now what we'll do is we'll come back on the gear and you're going to see what it did here is it appended these numbers. And the reason why it appended those numbers, we want to get rid of those numbers. The reason why it appended that is because currently I'm using just my subdomain inside of ClickFunnels and I already have a path called free course attached to my real marketing subdomain. So let's go back in and let's change this to something else that I don't already have like free membership. Let's try that. Free membership and we will delete this out. 
and we will save it. Now, if I'm using a custom domain, chances are I would have been able to use free course, but now we got free membership, and it clearly is not being used by another funnel that is also using my subdomain. So we can go forward with that, and then we're going to come into publishing. And you're going to see what it did is it changed over here. It had set opt-in over here, changed this to free membership. This says free membership. We can clean out this path, hit delete, and then update the funnel step. Now we got our path here of free membership with a bunch of numbers and letters at the end. But what will happen is this will show for a split second when the page loads. And then what will happen is those numbers will drop off and we will just see free membership as a clean path at the end. So now let's go in and let's click on edit the page. And what we want to do here is just create a really simple landing page. So let's just go with a full width section and we're going to add a single column row. And then we're going to only add two elements. One is going to be a headline, actually three elements, because then we're going to need an email opt-in. And then the third element will be a button. Where's the button? Right there. Okay, so now let's do this. It's just to clean it up a little bit. I'm not going to, this isn't a, a class right now about copywriting or making everything all pretty or anything like that. It's just about what is the functionality that you're going to need to make this thing work. So let's just uh, bring this down. In fact, let's do this. Instead of bringing down that, let's make the section not full width. Let's just make it a small section. So what you would have here is you're going to have a headline, something very compelling that makes them want to put in their email address. We will then look at the email address field. We will say we want this to be an email address, which on an opt-in page, there's only one thing you have to have to make it work, and that is an email address because then when the button is clicked, it will take that email address and it will create a contact inside of ClickFunnels. So we can come into our button and we don't have to change the text or anything. Like I said, this isn't a course on that. I have plenty of other training on how to set all of this up. But what we want to do is we just want it to submit the page. So now when somebody lands on this landing page, they're going to read that compelling headline. They're going to say, yes, I want this free membership. And then they're going to put in their email address. They're going to click the button and that will bring them to the next page in the funnel. So we'll just click on save because we have the basics of what you need for a landing page set up. So now we're going to create the next step in our funnel. And so we're going to add a new step. And what we're going to call this one is this is going to be, we're just going to call it for now, our sales page. And we will click on create the funnel step. So now to pick our template, we will go to sales and we'll come down to order form. And I should have a blank template I do right here. So we will grab that blank template. And now we will do the same thing with the path. We will click on the gear. And let's say instead of sales page, we want to call this page upgrade to premium. And we will then wipe out the path again, delete it out, click on update, and then go into publishing. And when we go into publishing again, it upgrades to premium, upgrade to premium. We delete out the path. And then we click on update again, and it will make the path now upgrade to premium with some numbers and letters after the end, but it should leave our original path that we set up. It should leave that nice and clean and it did. So we're good to go here. So now I'll just jump in to edit our page. And again, we have a blank template. So let's just set up the minimum that we need to set up to make this a functioning order page. And so let's just say we're going to make a small column width. Okay, let's try that again. Didn't work. Let's grab it and pull it in this time. We'll drop it right there. And then we will create a row. And again, we only need a single column row. And we're just going to put in again the elements that we need. So again, you're going to need some sort of a headline. 
And now we're going to put in the order form. Now you got a couple of different choices. You can do your basic two-step order form where it's going to drop it all in at once. But in our case here, let's build out the order form with the items that you're going to definitely need. So one of them you definitely need is a credit card. So we'll click on the credit card and that will put in our credit card element. We will then click the plus button again and we will look at our order select. We will put that in. Clicking on the plus again, let's see what else we will need. You technically don't need an order summary, but we'll put in an order summary anyway. And then what else do we have? Apple Pay, you could put that in if you wanted to. Order Bump, we're not going to use an order bump here either. And so that's really it. You could also do an inventory um, countdown in there as well, but we're not going to do that. So we got the three main elements that we need from the credit card standpoint, but we need one more element. And again, we need it to submit the page. So we're going to come down, we're going to put a button in here as well. So we have our button. Now, normally what you do is you have your order select. You would have that normally somewhere above the credit card. And this has to be on the page, even though you could technically hide it if you only have one item. Um, credit card definitely has to be on the page. You can't do it without that. And I did forget one thing I just remembered. There is one more very important item you have to have on here. And that is an input. And because we need to have an email input because, again, either this has to match up to an existing contact in the ClickFunnels database or it has to be a new contact. So we would have an email address that we put in here. And then generally speaking, again, you're also going to normally put in somebody's name. So we'll put in a name field as well. So come back down to our input. And we will not put in a name. Let's make that a full name. And then instead of your email address here, let's just put in your full name here. And that one will also make that be required as well. The email address is always required. It's always required by default. And I'll click on that. See, it's grayed out here. You can't even change it because it has to be there because, again, that's how ClickFunnels creates its contacts is based upon the email address. So we got our, our input where somebody can click on whether they want to purchase the item or not. You got your name, email address, credit card. Here would be the order summary, which is not necessary to have on the page, but you normally have it there. Then the last thing we have to do is to tell the action on the button here. We need it to submit that so that the purchase will go through. It'll process the credit card and it will create the contact record. So we will save that. And we will come back out. Now there's one more thing we need to set up on this page and that is the product. But right now we're not going to set up that product. We're going to move on to the next step because we need a couple other bits of information before we fully set up the product. So we're going to continue moving forward. And our next step is going to be our thank you page. And let me try something here. I've never done this before. I've never actually typed in the path here. And so let me just uh, do something like this. I'm just going to type in test path and see where that path comes up. Because like I said, I've never done that before. So let's see if it populates in the, uh, the gear icon down here. If it populates under publishing, let's see where it shows up. Okay, so to choose our template, we come up here to opt-in. And we're going to click on thank you. And again, I have a blank template, so let's just grab a hold of that. And then let's just click on the gear and see if that test path got put in there. No, it did not go there. Let's see, did it go into publishing? And there it went into publishing, which that doesn't do us any good. So no reason to put in the path on the first page when you set up the funnel. So we're going to come back in here. We're going to click on the gear. And as you can see, I already have a thank you page set up, obviously, because we have this at the end. Actually, let me just delete that off and click on update page and see if it goes away. It did. Okay, so now we got a clean URL here. That's good. So we'll click on update page. We'll go into publishing. And we will delete out the path because we don't want it to say test path. We want it to say thank you page. And now we're going to go in and edit the funnel. 
And so here I already have a section and some text and everything put in here. And so again, the whole purpose of the thank you page is to say thank you for buying my product. Thank you for signing up for the free stuff, you know, that kind of thing. And then what we're also going to do here is if I wanted to put in a paragraph, if I can get that to go in, and then just duplicate that just to show that you're going to have some text on this page. And then somewhere down here at the bottom, we're going to put in a button or you could put in a link and I'll show you both here we'll put in a button and let's say just right above this let's just put in some well actually let's do it right below it so right below it let's put in a subheadline and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this subheadline into a hyperlink and what we're going to do is we're going to go after um, we set up the other membership pages, we're going to put a link here to the membership page so that when they're done, they can go and click on that membership page and go get direct access to the membership. So my thoughts on how we're setting this up here is that we're setting it up as somebody opts in and they're going to get some free basic membership. And then once they go to the upgraded one on the sales page, once they upgrade, then they're going to get extended membership with all kinds of additional training, but they're all going to go to the exact same membership site. And I'll show you how we break out what is the free training versus what is the paid training when we get to that point. But so we're going to make this into a hyperlink here. And then also what we're going to do is the same thing with this button. We can come in and set the text on the button or set the link on the button, I should say, to the URL where we want them to go to. So the go to website URL would go right here and that will be the access page for your membership site. So for right now, we don't have any links set up there. So let's just click on save and bounce back out of here. So the next page we're gonna set up is going to be our membership access page. So we'll just call this members access page and we'll click on create the funnel. And as we did before, we have to pick out a template. So we're going to come up here to membership, members access. And again, we're going to grab our blank template. And again, like always, I like to set up my paths first. So let's go and take a look at our path. And we got an error page. So let's click back. And we got a clean path. So let's just leave this alone. Let's leave it as is. And so that also means that our publishing should be set right as well. So let's just check the path in there. And that's just fine. And so from this point forward, um, all the rest of the training on the membership access page is going to be a separate video because there's a whole lot of stuff we got to go through there and I'm not going to put it into this video, It'll get too long. So now let's just go on to our next page. So now we have our members area. And so let's just call this members training area. Let's try that. We're going to create that funnel step. And again, we're going to go up to our membership, membership area. And again, we're going to grab ourselves our blank template. And you're going to see this one looks totally different than what we've seen in the four previous funnel steps. And so there's going to, again, be another video or two or three down below that's going to walk through not only setting up this page, but then we're going to go into the editor and open up the editor and build out the page itself. Because this here is where all the lessons, all the sections and all the lessons reside. Inside this editor button is where we build out what the page is going to look like. And inside of this editor button is where you build out what the lesson is going to look like. So that's going to be probably three separate videos um, going forward. But what we need to do now is we need to go back in and we need to set up our product inside of our our page right here. And so what we need to do, and we also need to set up the thank you. So what we need to do is we need to come back to our members access page, which actually that's the wrong place to go. We actually need to go back into our training area. Because there's one thing that's really important about working with ClickFunnels membership sites is that you have two different URLs. You have a login URL and you have a secret sign-up URL.
Now, in this case here, because somebody's coming in for the very first time after either opting in or purchasing the upgrade, we want to send them over here to the secret signup URL. And there's going to be a lot more training on this in future lessons because it's probably one of the things that people mess up the most. And so it's really super important that we get it set up properly. So we're just going to grab this URL right here and we're going to go back into our upgrade to premium order form here where we're going to put in our work, work on our product. So let's just click on our product and we're going to add a product and we're going to use Stripe for our payment gateway and we're going to click on save and next. That will bring us, we're moving across this timeline at the top here. So we're going from payment options over here to product details. If I can get it to work, what's going on here? So we'll click on Stripe. Save and next. Okay, now we have it. So we're just going to call this um, premium membership. You can call it whatever you want. It's just purely for your own purposes. We're going to put in a price of 797 And we're going to say down here in the override, we're going to say one-time payment of 797 and then the product description, this is just what's going to show up on the credit card. So let's just call this um, membership. It doesn't matter. Uh, but for you, you want to make sure it's something very distinctive so that when somebody looks at their credit card statement, they know where it came from, the name of your company, name of your product, something like that, so that they don't uh, freak out when they see it on their credit card bill. So now we, we did all that. So now let's click on Save and Next. And there's a lot more training about setting up products and stuff like that in the balance of the training before this. So do we want to send out a fulfillment email? Now, what you can do is you can have the system automatically send out an email. So you can change what the subject line is. You can change all of this. And they have just recently upgraded the editor. So you can actually do some basic WYSIWYG editing in here. But this line is very important. Product thank you page. That will, in the email, that will put in where you want to send somebody to once they have finished uh, or once they see this email, there's going to be a link here. And so that link corresponds to whatever you put down here at the bottom. So we put in membership area. So what you got to do is you got to scrub through here and you got to find the one that you just put in. And what did I just call this funnel anyway? I don't even remember. So I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time on it. Let's just say we're going, oh, and we, I'm sorry, is this one right here at the top? So here we go, members training area. So where do you want somebody to go after they get this thank you email, I would not send them back to the thank you page in this case. I would send them to the members training area. So that's where they'll go when they click on this link in the email. Now also you can just disable this link if you want. You don't have to send them there. You could just turn this off and then no email will be sent at all. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is our follow-up actions. And in this case here, I'm using Actionetics. So let's say with the Actionetics is once they order this product, we want to add them to a list and then it will populate all of your lists and you just pick your list from your dropdown. And uh, once you do that, so you pick it from your dropdown and then you click on save and next. And then that way they'll be added to your Actionetics list. And if you have a follow-up funnel associated with that list, then they'll automatically start getting emails from you. Um, you can send one out instantaneously as soon as they do their purchase. So that's really all we need to do here as far as setting up a product. Okay, now on the thank you page, we put in a link and that link is supposed to then bring us to the members access page. So we need to go back in and fill that link back in. So let's go in and edit the page. And so under our action for our button, we're going to come in, we're going to set that action and we're going to paste in that URL that we got for the secret sign up link. So we got that there and then we're also going to do the same thing for our hyperlink here. We're going to take that out. We're going to copy that in. We want it to, 
not open it in this page. We want to open it in a new page. And let's just say we want to leave it blue. If not, you can make it any color that you can pick on here. But then also let's go back in here because I forgot this. Let's click there and let's open this up in a new window. So now we click on save and we will back out of this. And unless I forgot something, I do believe we have a very basic membership funnel set up. So let's go back to our free membership and let's go through the funnel and see if it works. So now we'll click on this link here and it will open up a new tab for us with our page in it. And so we're going to put in an email address. We will click to sign up. Okay, so now it's showing our premium membership and one-time payment of $797 up here at the top, also down at the bottom. It populated my name, a uh, bogus email address. Now, one thing I forgot to do before we jumped in here, and let's, uh, let's go back out of our funnel. And one thing, let's see here, let's click on contacts. Let's see if that contact went in there. Okay, so our contact went in there just fine. So now what we want to do is we want to come over to settings and scroll down. And what we want to do is we want to turn on test mode for our stripe. So we turn on our test mode, we go all the way down to the bottom and we click on save. And then once it saves, we want to go back into the page that we were on with our order form. And in this case here, we're going to reload it because we uh, didn't have the test mode set up first. Okay, now once test mode kicks in, it gives you this fake credit card number up here. So we can put that into our credit card field. We can put in any three digits for our CBC, and we can put in any year out into the future. As long as this date is in the future, this should work. We're going to click to sign up. It gives us green because these two buttons were required, and they are both good to go. And I was wondering about this. You probably noticed that this, for some reason, was stuck in the cache. Although I built a blank page inside of the editor, let's go back here to the thank you page. Inside of here, it was showing what I assume was probably an original template that I had that I, I used to, and I just deleted everything out of it in order to create my thank you template, my blank thank you template. And so apparently this is still stuck in the cache somewhere because that's what I'm getting on this page. So for right now, um, obviously we had everything else working. I'll have to figure out why that was, or more accurately, what I'll have to do is I'll just have to create a whole new page. And in fact, why don't we just do that real quick here? Let's just create a new page. So add a new step and we're going to call this TY2 just for lack of a better name. And now I'm just going to select this template. No. Now I just made a mistake that I've made many, many times. I'm sure a lot of other people have as well. You come in here and you want to just create a template and you get all excited and you just click on one of these. Well, the problem is it was set to opt-in. Now, whether it's an opt-in or a thank you, it's not going to really make any difference. But if you were opt-in versus an order form, you could click on the you could click on opt-in and create an opt-in thing and have it all done and then realize oh, wait a second, there's none of the options for the order form in here. So just be really careful when you're coming in. Just make sure every time you pick out the right type of template because a lot of them will not have the functionality that others have. And so you want to make sure you always get the right one. So in this case here, we're going to click on thank you. And then we're just going to take this one with Julie because then what we're going to do is just delete everything out of it. And we're going to click on edit page. Now, again, I would normally do the path, but we already walked through all that a couple of times. And the easiest way to gut one of these is I, I have this little plug in here. I think I got from Jamie Smith, but um, otherwise just come up here. If you don't have it, click on manage and then just come in and just go delete and delete and everything is gone, except what we have to do is we got a background in, image here. And so we're going to come in and we're going to delete out that background image and we'll set the background to white. Now everything should be gone. Let me just make sure there's no custom CSS. Nope, there isn't. And no custom tracking code in here either. Okay, good. So now we got a nice clean blank template. So we're going to add a section. 
Okay, let's try this again. Sometimes it works to click, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works to drag, sometimes it doesn't. Now we'll add a one column row. And we'll just add a button because you already saw how this got built. I just wanna make sure we got a functioning thank you page. So we're gonna to have to save this. We're gonna to have to bounce out of here, go back into the membership area and grab that secret signup URL again. So we'll copy that out. We'll go back into our new thank you page. Go in and edit the page and open up the button, set the action and we want it to go to a specific URL and we want it to open up in a new tab. And so now we will click on save. Now we have to go back into the funnel steps themselves because that original thank you page we have to take out. So here's the original thank you page. We're just going to X that out. And then we have to reorder the pages by pulling the new thank you page up where the old thank you page had been. So let's just pull that up. Okay, now it's in place. Now let's test our funnel one more time. So we're going to put in our email address, click to sign up, turn green, and it says submitting. Now we can grab that credit card number again. We got our name. We got everything else pop in here properly. We'll set a date out into the future, and we will click to sign up. And now we have our sole button on here. Obviously, again, you would have a fully built out page. We will click on that. It opened up a new tab and it's showing us a blank page, which it should be. But here it says right here, members training area. So that's where we want to be going to is that page right there because that's the link that we put in. So again, back to our funnel. This is all you need to do to set up a very basic funnel. We have our opt-in page. We have a sales page, a thank you. And again, off of the sales, the product itself, you can send them an email straight out of the product itself. Or let me just show you one other thing. So we had people sign up here on the free membership. At this point here, if you're using Actionetics, you can use the automation tab and you can set up emails inside of the um, automation, emails, text messages, other actions, like you can add them to a list once they opt in. So we can add an action, so we'll give them an action. Uh, so it's condition, we're gonna say it's everyone, and you put a title in here, of course, into the name blank. So add to list, we'll just call it. We're gonna use ClickFunnels internal because it's the only option in here is to do that, add them to a list, and then you pick out the list you want to add them to. You could add a new email in here. You can put in the name, subject, all this kind of stuff right there as well that you could send that to them immediately upon signing up. Or if you're using a third party for your email, you can come back into your page, edit your page right here. And you can come up to settings, down to integration, and you can see right now it's not connected to any third party. So let's say we're going to integrate this with MailChimp, and we want to add them to a list. And then you can select the list that you have set up, and you can send them a confirmation, uh, send a con confirmation email to them to let them know they've been added to the list. And then, of course, you can start dripping to them whether you're inside of Actionetics or if you're using an external third-party email provider. So that is it. Very, very quick breakdown of everything. And again, like I said, there's going to be all kinds of other training inside of the CF Ninja Hacks training area that's going to show you how to do your integrations, how to set up your emails, how to set up products, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to make this a quick overview of how you can set up a very simple funnel. You could get an opt-in, then you can upgrade them, upsell them to a premium inside of the membership, send them to a thank you page, which then sends them to the access page where they're going to create their login information. And then they're going to go into the training area where you not only will have the free content that the original opt-in was for, the free content, but then you're also going to have the premium content in there and the premium will be protected. So anybody who comes into the membership site can get the free free stuff, but the paid stuff will be protected so that 
so that somebody who did not pay will not see it. So that's all I have for this video. Like I said, in the upcoming videos, we're going to be talking about the membership access page and then actually a couple of videos on the membership training and how to set up the page for that and also the lessons. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.